This one, I'm absolutely loving at the moment, is the Ole sort of like radiance boosting one. So it has lots of really nice shiny particles for when you're in this festive season and you want your skin to shine. In terms of moisture, I wouldn't say this is probably like the most moisturizing, but it does make your skin nice and luminous and catches really nice down. So welcome everybody, welcome Kimberly to the channel. How do you feel being on camera? On. <laughs> it takes a little bit of getting used to. But you had to film the other day for your mastered. Mm -hmm. But it does feel strange. I always dreaded having someone else on my channel because I feel like when I film, I can totally just be myself and no one judges. But when I've got someone standing next to me, like, what did you just say on camera? You're weird. Can you hear your own voice on camera? Oh, it took so long to get used to to hear your own voice on camera. So, so long. Auburn Palma, just to fill out the tail section. So after watching all this footage back, I just realized I have a wig on and you can only see my little blonde locks falling down. And I thought I better actually say something because that looks really strange that I've not mentioned. I've got a platinum blonde wig and I've cut all my hair up. <laughs> I think I need more wigs in my life. <laughs> and there's no really rhyme or reason as to why I'm wearing a wig. Nope, can't really have one on my own today. So we're going to crack on. I'm going to use MAC Wedge just in Kimberly's socket just to sort of give yourself a little bit of definition there. Next up I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's Long Lasting Concealer Sticks. I absolutely love these, they're so long lasting. The, especially this one, Moonstone, has a really nice shine to it. But they're so long lasting, grab onto eye makeup and make it just that little bit more pigmented. But I just love the sparkle that it gives, I love the shine. And because these have got a little bit of a shimmer and a sparkle through them, it makes it really easy to blend. Like some crayon eyeshadows, you can get to your edge and you're just like, ah, I don't know how to blend this. But because it's got that sort of glitter and sparkle through it, you don't have to be too precise. This is quite a nice sparkly black. Just to sort of start smoking it out. So now that I have gotten the definition that I want with the dark, I'm going to go over the top with a combination of the Sleek Christmas Glitter, I don't even know if it has a name, Steel? It's a Sleek Christmas Glitter anyway. It's glitter, it's Christmas, we're just going to throw all the glitter at it. So this is when your eyelids are starting to feel a little bit wet. Mm -hmm. And this one will just start build up that dark sparkle. And then I'm going to use the Collection one in Hustle absolutely love that name. Hustle and hustle. Hmm. Because those are wet like usual I'm going to set all of that wet glitter with a little bit of MAC Enlightening Pigment just over the top so that it all stays in place so that your eyelids don't crease and you get that sort of mushed effect from it. It won't cover the glitter you'll still get the sparkle through because the Enlightening Pigment is quite sparkly and reflective anyway but it just means it sets it all in place for you. Once you've packed on as much glitter as you possibly can onto poor Kimberly's face, if you look up for me, I'm going to look up to the ceiling, that's it. I'm going to start the underneath. Now, this isn't the typical go-to look I would go for, but I feel like some of you out there would think a silver and black sparkly eye, I mean, how original is that going to be? So, you could go black and sparkly underneath, I'm going to go colour sparkly. Because Kimberly has like hazily green eyes, I'm going to bring out the green in them by using a little bit of purple. And I'm using MAC Disco Purple. So once I've lined that a little bit, I'm going to put it on the back of a brush. So you don't have to look up this time, you can just look straight ahead. And I'm going to use a 2 on 2 just to emphasise and add a little bit more. And start to smoke that lower lash. But now I'm going to do your base. I can sit down for this bit. Hey there! And I'm going to switch your skin to be closer to me with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to hydrate your skin because your skin's a little bit on the drier side so it keeps it nice and hydrated. So many makeup bases sort of trick you into thinking they're good but they just go really greasy on the skin and this one just feels like a cushion, like it's really soft on the skin, fills out pores, 
Personally, I don't find it does much to holding on my makeup for longer, but I just find it gives it a smoother base for application to makeup. And then I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna apply Dior Star. This for me is like Christmas makeup. Dior Star does as it says, it's like a star foundation. It's so flawless, it's good for all skin types, especially one that I have in my kit all year round. But at this time of year, especially when it comes to going out and partying all night, this bad boy does not budge off of the skin. And I'm just going to use the Damp Beauty Blender to blend all of it in a little bit with the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer, as you all know is a fave of mine. You have such porcelain skin. It's so... How do you feel like coming here and knowing you should have like a beautiful Florida tan mm -hmm. and it's just disappeared being in the Scottish light? You know, because I'm in the salon so much in the States, I don't really see as much sun <laughs> You're like a vampire hairdresser. I'm going to use my favourite brush, thanks to Nikki Tutorials and Desi for this one. I saw them use it, so of course I wanted one. And now I'm absolutely addicted. It's so soft. It feels like fur, isn't it? It's nice. It's so soft and I'm just going to sculpt out that gorgeous just finishing off shaping mm. the face with my trusty collection 2000 palette, a fiver, a fiver. I love this. I just love finding good, cheap, I say cheap, cheap's not the right word, but like affordable makeup for everyone rather than it being, and I mean, if you like buying expensive makeup, then you buy that expensive makeup, but not everybody can afford it. So I'll cheapen it down with the Collection 2000 and then I'll bring it back up with the Becca highlight. Oh, this stuff's just gold dust. This is the Jaclyn Hill one. The only thing that really upsets me is that I drove, I got someone to bring it back all the way from America for me. Drove all the way to Fockerbears for it, which is like an hour away from here. Got there and it was broken. It didn't survive in a highlight. The tops, the cheekbones. Give your little nose a little highlight. Everybody loves a bottom nose highlight. Everybody loves it. <laughs> it's like the chipmunk highlight. Keep it Back to my collection 2000 palette. I'm just gonna blush those cheeks. Now that your highlight is on fleek, I hate that term, but I mean, it looks so good. I think that's the only thing you can use for it. Nude gloss. Yes. 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 I feel like that cat. Yeah. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So there you go. You can zhuzh your hair right now if you want to zhuzh your hair. You can zhuzh it, you can do your clip out. <laughs> so there we go. Have a look at the camera, show everyone your pretty face. Is it zhuzh? Uh, yeah, you, you, might, you might need to zhuzh. You look good though, <laughs> you can walk it. There we go, so that's my go-to smoky eye for Christmas looks. If it's silver, sparkly, and you could swap to gold if you are wearing gold, but if you're silver, silver, because I can really have some silver sparkles on. So yeah, we're gonna quickly wrap up and take my wig off, and then it's my turn to have my hair done. Yeah. See you in a bit. So, I'm gonna start off by sectioning the hair from the ear up into the crown forward on both sides, and then keeping the back section all together as one. Um, I want this to be as easy as possible for anybody to do at home. I think taking slightly larger sections works for some hair textures and others you have to take smaller sections. This smoothing iron that I've got recently, it's new, and when you go to clamp it, what happens is, is the plates vibrate and it helps to shimmy down the hair. It's the funniest snagging. feeling in the world. It's quite interesting. I relate it to when my husband's playing his Xbox and yeah. he crashes a car. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. It feels really relaxing when you do it, and I feel like my hair. So, as you can see, we've got quite a decent sized section here. And what I like to do is spray each individual section with a very light, non sticky spray. What I'm going to use is Affinage's Fabulous Finish Hairspray. Um, again, you could use just about almost the entire can and it wouldn't build up. So, so where can you get this? Like, I would walk into my normal boots and would just pick up like a short scarf or an Elnet. As an alternative, I also use um, the L'Oreal Elnet. Okay. Which is quite good, just because that is something easier that people can go out and buy. Yeah. I get my products directly from my personal distributor. Okay. Um, some salons, they do carry only Affinage products and some 
you know, so you would be able to go in and find them, but it would have to be at a salon that yeah. provided like, that much. I don't mind paying money for products that I know are going to work, but it's more the case of like finding them. Do I have to go online? Can I only get them from like a, a trade salon? Can I get them from a normal salon? So yeah, you could get them from a hairdresser as a salon. Yes. Definitely. What I do when I'm creating this look is I take the section and I do just about a half to three quarter turn and I alternate both directions that I go through just so that the curls don't all overlap together. So, as you can see, I'm going in. And you can feel the vibrations. I can feel the vibrations. And then slowly pulling the iron out of the hair. And then going slightly faster on the ends. Because if you go too slow on the ends, what happens is, is they tend to kink up and they're quite ringlety compared to the rest of the hair. That's what does mine I always find. Like it goes all kinky because of the straight ears. So what I like to do is go in and take this individual section here, make sure it comes through just to loosen it up a little bit, and then just roll it. And then I'll use this type of clip and clip it on base. So on base is when the roots are going completely in the opposite direction of how they would want to lay, giving the hair the most volume when setting. So hair is all pinned up. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's just pinned up in all different sections, having flat iron in all different directions, just pinning them up, having sprayed each section with a very flexible old hairspray. And how long is it ideal to like leave the pins in as long as possible, or is there like a time limit so you don't look like a throw? Until the curls have cooled and set completely is when I recommend okay. gently just using my fingers as a rake to just lightly pull through the hair just to break apart what we've gone in and put in there. Just take a paddle brush and brush it out. I want them to be a really nice, loose, romantic waves. I like to kind of use the side of my hand to just wrap the hair around. It's kind of reinforcing that wave of a shape. Move down each side and then pin to secure with the vertical placement of the bobby pins, going right in the middle center back of the head. And I like to crisscross the pins just to really secure them. One going up, and then take the next one, and cross it down. That's my, I find I put bobby pins in, or curvy grips, whatever you want to call them, and I, they just fall out. That's my worst thing. Really simple. Anybody could do this look at home. So I find I get bored. I don't know what to do with my hair, so I'll just curl it. But then I'm like, oh, I always curl it. So it's good to do something different and know how to do something different. This top section, what I like to do is do a little bit of back combing just up here and through the crown. nice solid base in there and then let it fall back and you take your next horizontal section pull it forward and then making almost as if it's a C shape going straight down into the root and then let it fall back and as you can see it's starting to push up creating that little bit volume brush back this front top section here I like to shimmy around the part line to avoid any sort of visible harsh lines. Baba <laughs> So then I go up with the bobby pin and the hair pins and then leave them back down just to give them a little bit of lift. And then just toss it out the bottom. Just use your visual judgment. Find what you like and go with it. We go for almost a mohawk. A vintage mohawk. A vintage mohawk. 
Yes. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I told you I'd have a special guest. I told Hi. you. Hi so everyone. Recently, every time I post a picture of my makeup, everyone says, wow, your hair. Yeah. So this woman's responsible for it. This is my hairdresser, Kimberly Logie. So I always rave about her on Facebook and Instagram. And as I said, you always like my hair. So I thought, why not do a special Christmas get ready with us? And She's shown you how to do your hair, so she showed you how to curl it, how to pin it, how to get that really bad baboon curls, and then she showed you how to style it and put it in an updo too. My bit's pretty much like not even needed in this video, so I've shown you how to do Kimberly's makeup, and I did Kimberly's makeup with the sparkly smoky, and Bubba and Bean are around here today too. Oh, Bubba, do you want to come up on camera? Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Come here. Oh, come here, little one. Hi, little one. Say hi to Bubba and Bean. Oh, look. <laughs> happy they're making a little appearance. So thank you so much for watching as always and I want to make a really special shout out to a viewer of mine. I don't know who you are but you will know who you are because I did a wedding on Sunday, Sunday, Saturday and my bridesmaid said that you watch my channel religiously and I mean all my subscribers mean the world to me but to hear that you do and that you sit in the back and watch your videos because I do too so don't worry it's just so much fun so thank you so much I appreciate it. So, this is we're going to say bye. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this Christmas edition of Get Ready With Me, give it a like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. And now you've got a new person to follow. Blah, blah. And now you've got a new person to follow. Kimberly, what are you on social media? You can find me on Instagram. It's Kimberly Logie Hair, Facebook uh, slash KL Hairdressing. And my website is www.kl-hair.com. Oh, you're posh. You have a website. I don't. Okay, well, that's us. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And Bubba and Bean, say, say bye. 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 <laughs>